Okay, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to review a Sony Bravia Android Smart Television and we're going to make it very clear how is it different from a standard smart television. So, what all you can do, what are the drawbacks uh, on a standard smart TV, where does it get better when it comes to Android. Here you see the logo, this is how you can expect it to start in the beginning. And uh, it, I, mean, I have to say that in the beginning, it takes much longer than a standard smart television for, for booting up or to, to start up. But once it has started and connected to internet, it is really good. So for my TV, it gets connected to, uh, uh, to Wi-Fi or to LAN cable uh, through LAN uh, quite, quite, quite fast. And it is now already connected. You saw the message earlier, and this is how the standard uh, interface for an Android television would look like, right? Okay. So, it, uh, as I said, it takes longer for 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 the for, for the TV to be up and running uh, when it is based on Android. It is much faster on a standard uh, smart television because there are much lesser number of uh, apps uh, installed, plus much less lesser number of processes being run on the background but anyways this is how it would look yeah for me it could go to default to free view you see the tv channel being playing in the background that's a free view channel for bbc and then these are the featured apps just bear in mind these features these featured apps would differ based on your location like uh, this is uh, this is in london in uk so you can see bbc channels bbc apps itv and others uh, being uh, promoted as featured apps, Spotify, VLC Player, Yep TV for Asian TV and others. And if you are in US, if you are in Asia somewhere, uh, uh, Middle East, it would differ based on your geography, based on what apps are more popular and what apps are being promoted by Sony there. So you can customize these featured apps from Sony Select. You see at the top left. Uh, you can use Sony Select to customize it. Yeah. Okay. Now let me come back uh, to how the interface would look like. We can quickly go into Sony Select and give you an idea of how you can customize the list of featured apps. Uh, you see in here. Uh, the, this is this is from Sony by Bravia, so it would be different on other brands, right? So you can go in here, just see whether you want that particular app or not. If you want to remove, you can do that as well. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we won't go into that. Really, what we I wanted to show you here was basically how it's different. So it's Android-based operating system. That would mean that any any changes that Android provides would be coming fairly quickly. Any fixes to the bugs, any issues, any operating system updates would be really coming faster on your television. Now Google Play is your app store allows you to download or install uh, uh, all Android apps which can which are supported and are compatible for television. Just bear in mind that anything you see on uh, your smartphone may not be here on television because those apps may not be compatible. So not every app you can expect there but this is how your Google Play Store would look like there again here you would have some featured apps uh, and then you can search for other apps there will be a lot of uh, recommended apps uh, so uh, yeah so so let me go slowly it's a bit slow that's one of the biggest drawbacks here because there are so many things running in background it is a bit slow so these are the featured apps you see in your screen then you come down to recommended apps uh okay based on your preferences it will show you the apps yeah so the 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 main difference between any other smart television is that whatever apps come pre-installed you don't have much flexibility or in fact not at all any flexibility in installing additional apps to it whereas in uh in in, in android television you have google play which gives you a really good variety of apps to be installed almost everything you can install if not through Google's Google Play, there are other ways of installing apps and these are the games as well. And that's through Sideload and I've done a, quite a few videos on that as well. So in a way, all in all, you would have any app that you want to be installed on your television, you should be able to get that. Plus the variety of browsers and other utility apps that also can be a part of uh, Android television quite easily. Uh, 
then in terms of uh, giving uh, so so we come to that but again there's a categorization you can see on your screen these are the apps if not available you can easily search it uh, there's a search button at the top and if you have google uh, assistant you can just speak and then they will search on that i haven't enabled google assistant because it wasn't working that great for me uh, but if you want to let's say search for uh, netflix or let's say t twitch let's search for twitch or ted so you can see the apps incoming in here right so there's a web browser as well so these, these this is how you can use google play store uh, it allows you to install a number of games as well that can be done then uh, i was talking about utility app like this is a puffin browser uh, tv uh, which is a web browser allows you to give you all the features of google chrome google search and it's quite friendly that is one of the drawbacks in most of the smart television the browser is not that great yeah but puffin browser for tv is really really good i mean it's, it's as good as what you would have on your laptop so it's quite great yeah so uh, i won't go into detail because i've done a a, a specific video for that uh, you can save your bookmarks favorites recently viewed websites and all you'll you'll have it all here but i'll, I'll come out come out of it yeah okay again uh coming to this uh i, I mean uh, then you've got air screen which allows you to cast any any video or screen on from your iphone or from android phone or tablet or, or laptop or a desktop you can cast it on through a screen on your on your tv uh, there are different ways it allows mirror cast as well uh, normal cast screen mirroring uh, how you i mean there's a help feature how you do on ios let's let me give you an example of uh, how you do it on airplay from iphones step number one connect to device on and uh, on your same wi-fi network next thing is to swipe and select screen mirroring through airplay and third thing is to select your television name and then it would be casted very clearly or screen mirrored on your on your tv uh, similarly you can have steps uh, how to do uh, your macbook android phones or windows laptop as well uh, i've done a specific video on this one but i mean i'm just showing you how easy it becomes when you have an android phone similarly uh, to just have a screen uh, uh, wallpaper or a screen saver uh, through this particular app uh, you can you can sync it with your google photos and it will show up your photos selected photos or albums that you have created specifically uh, onto your television you can cast it you can do a slideshow uh, that becomes quite easy yeah okay just create your own folders and then you can do it quite uh, straight away fine uh, again i've done many videos already on e almost every app on you see on the screen i've done a video on that so just go into that so Kodi allows you to stream uh, tv series and movies once you've done the setup i've done quite a few videos on that as well internet browser then you've got VLC player here that allows you to play movies uh, through uh, shared folder on your laptop. It also allows you to stream online. It allows you to read files, uh, video files from your USB disk, uh, USB drives. Then, uh, I mean, this has Android TVs come uh, inbuilt, have, have inbuilt uh, Google Cast that allows you to cast from any Google based uh, browser like Chrome, or if you have android tv you can cast your your screen easily through google cast on your android television so things become very easy and then facebook watch similar to watching videos on your facebook i mean you can just sync your facebook account with this and you can watch videos here aq weather allows you to see what's happening outside as in terms of weather then these are the different inputs hdmis avi uh, and then uh, digital as well as satellite uh, preview channels or tv channels you can have it once customized uh, you can connect to lan so i have connected my television through lan cable which gives you more stable network uh, you can't always trust uh, uh, your wi-fi you can set timers to switch off your tv when you want but more importantly it's the settings that we want to look into uh, if you come here into storage and reset it allows you to factory reset quite easily 
and has got 8.2 GB of total space of internal storage memory. Uh, I'll show you quickly. Uh, I won't do it here, but you can see here Google Cars, Bluetooth settings. It's got has got Bluetooth as well. Uh, languages you can set keyboard how you want to see it. speech allows you to do uh, things with uh, google uh, uh, we can talk and then we can it, it would search for it uh, google assistant i was going to say sound by interactive tv location you can set or you can switch it off security restriction but the thing is location setting up location and allowing it to find yourself and putting too many security restrictions sending usage diagnostics back to android the, the problem with that is that there is a lot of processes being running on off in in the background and that slows things down so if your tv is slow i would recommend you switch it off you just use you see you just enable only what is required and so you switch off what is not required more importantly